Was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like to look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But Seriously, I like it old school. I, could frame any one of you I do on love my analog camera. Capture you in a moment I should take a quick picture now. And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail and- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? People's faces. 
making them extremely popular from the 1800s. My little on. camera bag is battered, but still can The first American self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. I just Hi, Max. I am sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think everyday heroes... Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you always welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture in Chinese. Because Max wants everybody to see how he actually is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so freaking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant fan. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. 
Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. There's the lighthouse again. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz.
It's the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of... Did it. Can you give I me actually an did of it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. White. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. what is going on? Diane. Nothing Diane. has moved. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Victoria? Keep it together, Diane. Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel when like I took totally my selfie. Diane. Jefferson Diane. asked me a question. Diane. If he she does again, I'll know this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. 
The point Can remains I save that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Out fine detail in people's faces. Make Max. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the company. I see you, Max Caulfield. Photography's... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the... Butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! No, he has a so gun! I should do something to else! Me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody I need a hammer to break it open. Missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! 
No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth.
Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the Falling Soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Isn't it Robert Dornau? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worth... 
Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. Clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, sorry. I won't bother you. Let's talk later, okay, Max? Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return war- The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah. Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. Ow! No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Sweet! Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files weird. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. You look busy, Samuel. Oh, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. Nice, bro. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have awesome. to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. Sweet. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Nice, Positive bro. and negative. 
See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. No. Now if you'll excuse me. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. Good. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Nice. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Understand English? Get lost. Nice. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I need to figure this out. I must have missed something. I should rewind. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Understand English? Get lost. Awesome. Nice.
What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. No. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No. Do you understand English? Get lost. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Shall pass. Capiche? Oh, dude. Awesome. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Sam at all. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Nice. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. Okay. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the yeah. go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be- Welcome to Black Hill. His tweet took so long. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. 
Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. At least that's an alarm from this century. Juliet, extreme reporter. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here.
Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Cartier-Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Yes, I 